Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Dell G15 5510 gaming laptop. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your memory. So first thing guys, power down the computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip it over to access our bottom case screws. So you have three screws along this edge, three screws along this edge, and these two on the bottom. After you take those screws out, you're gonna take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because it's gonna scratch your case less than a metal pry tool will. You're gonna take your pry tool and you're gonna put it along the edge, along the seam here, on the bottom case and the rest of your computer. And you're gonna slowly pry this bottom case off from the rest of your computer right through here. Um, if you get stuck in a certain area, leave it. Go to the other side, continue in the other direction. Um, also, don't put your pry tool too far in. You can damage some internal components. Keep it right on the edge. And this bottom case was actually fairly easy to take off compared to other computers. After you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, as a general computer repair side note, guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, I have it sitting on an anti-static pad. Either that or an anti-static bracelet will go a long way to help you avoid damaging things in your computer when you're working on it. If you guys want any help with tools or supplies like that, as well as any of these replacement or upgrade parts for the Dell G15 5510, there'll be a link above, also below in the description with all the tools that I use, as well as all those replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model. Also, before touching anything in a computer, it's best to unplug your battery. This battery unplugs very easily. I held this cable here, took it up a little bit, and I took a pry tool and this black ribbing right there on top, I gently pushed down on that with my pry tool at the same time that I gently pulled down on this cable and the battery unplugged fairly easily. Okay, so now that the battery has been unplugged, it's safe to proceed deeper into the computer. Your RAM slots are right here. You have one on top and one on bottom. Many of you stock will only have a RAM stick in this slot on the top. The way that you operate RAM, there's a metal spring-loaded arm on either side of your RAM stick. In order to get the RAM out, you would gently pry those apart from each other. The RAM stick will release. In most cases, it'll even pop up a little bit and then you can uh, pull it out of that port. To put the RAM stick back in, as you notice, there's a long part here and a short part there. So you can only get the RAM stick in one way, the correct way. Once you've got it in and it's all flush, you press down in the center and these metal arms will latch onto it and secure it in place. Now this is DDR4 RAM. The RAM stick that was in this computer was PC4-3200. Uh, and you do have 32 gigabyte max allotted RAM in this computer. So below in the description in that link I told you about with all the replacement parts, I will include a single 16 gigabyte stick if you guys are looking to just upgrade one of your sticks that failed. But I'll also include a 32 gigabyte kit, uh, which would be two 16 gigabyte sticks if you want to max this out. And I honestly, I always tell people maxing out your RAM is probably one of the easiest, uh, cheapest ways of maxing out a, a integral part of your speed of your computer. So it, if you're not going to upgrade anything else, um, maxing out your RAM is always a good idea. So that's the video. That's how you would access your memory in a Dell G15 5510. So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials. And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation. And there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.